On this week's edition, we're going to tell you about the Darby Town Art Studio, which is just right outside of downtown and easily accessible on the first Friday trolley. So today I'm at Darby Town Art Studio at 241 Charles Street, uh, near the train station. And I'm with uh, Jeannie Ellis, who's the owner of Darby Town Art Studio. So Jeannie, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Um, we've been open since May 2017, actually. Um, had five artists when we opened, and now I'm up to about 25, 26 artists. Um, a very diverse group of artists here. I'm very proud of each and every one of them. So can't wait to show you around. Yeah. <laughs> this is Teresa Lohr, and this is her space, and she shares it with her husband, Jeff. How are you? Sandy King, she's a quilter, and so... Oh, okay. Did you do that mirror? I did. And then this is Lisa Schmiegel, and I love her studio space because um, it's very different from anything else, but I absolutely adore it. She's, this is Nathan. And this is his work. This is his studio in here. Tina Jackson. Tina Jackson's photography. And this is Karen Joes, and this is her um, pottery. This is Jane Carricker. <laughs> and this is all her work. She does acrylic and oils and watercolors. And then this is Van Anderson's studio here. He uses his as a working studio. And then, the, of course, this is Leslie Caleri. And this is her work here. This is Laurel Coon's yeah. work up here. This is right. Cliff Satterthwaite's work right here. Yeah. Um, I'm sure people recognize that name. And if you don't recognize the name, you would recognize right. him, right. elderly right. man that always set out in um, yeah. plain air painted. So these are all plain air paintings that he does yeah. here. Great. So um, what, are the, what are the hours of operations, and how do people find out more about Darby we're, Town? We're open 11 to 5, um, Monday through Saturday. Um, I have volunteer docents that help me out every day. I have a different docent every day. In exchange for that, I give them wall space. Some are, are not artists or photographers. They just like to come and help out and be a part of the art community. So I'm very blessed with having wonderful docents here that, um, that really support all the artists here. Yeah. Are you on social media? You have a website? We're on, for yep, this? we're on. Uh, I don't have a website okay. yet but I do have um, Facebook and Instagram. Jeannie's also the owner of the Canal Quarter Arts. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about Darby Town and what type of artists you might have here. Or... A variety of artists here. I have photographers. I have three different um, potters here. I have actually a pottery studio that I took a little, small little bathroom and made it into an art studio. So I'm always thinking out of the box how I can fit one more person in here. I have a quilter, a couple of woodworkers, a mosaic artists, stained glass artists. So we have a very large, diverse group of artists here. I do a little copper and I do paintings. <laughs> and talk a little bit about the name Darby Town for those who aren't familiar with Well, with Dar that. that's the name of this neighborhood and it's been here for a very long time and a lot of people aren't familiar with the, the name, but it is up and coming. It is booming now, thanks to John Janney and Mike Adams and um, Van Zant and all the other ones. So it's really building up down here. We're just one block down from the Carina Tower. Um, you know, on the other side of the train station. So um, we have the trolley that comes every first Friday, stops outside my door every 20 minutes. The trolley I'm very thankful for because they do bring in a lot of people for us. Yeah. Well, it's a beautiful studio. Thank and, you. And uh, I certainly encourage people to, to come check it out. Again, 241 Charles Street or find them on Facebook yep. uh, and, and Instagram. Instagram. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Great. Well, Jeannie, thanks for, thanks Thank for joining so us. And that'll do it for this week's edition. We appreciate you watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and subscribe to our Fred Focus newsletter and we'll keep you up to date on all the great things happening in the city of Fredericksburg. We'll see you next week.